What's up guys, welcome back to Jay on Film. I'm Jay, and this is my life on film. Today, we're going to USJ, but first, we have to overcome the morning rush. We're here and like, <clears throat> everybody's rushing to get to the entrance. Going by. It's 7.43 and we are at the Universal Studios Japan. Um, the park opens at like, nine officially but hopefully we can get in an hour early and then yeah just get get straight to the rides to the wizarding world of Harry Potter right now. Sometimes we can get so fixated on getting through to every ride that we often forget to just explore and take in the views. The gentle April rain that stained the window panes last night is all but gone but lingers on in scented clouds of air we watch the town awaken to the trembling morning light. You're so near, the spring is everywhere. We danced until the stars came out and spread across the sky. The wee small hours of We finished taking pictures at the castle. We're off to get something to eat because we haven't had breakfast yet. We just ate and now we're gonna go and watch a 4D My Hero Academia 4D. Let's get it. Okay. 
前にはスラートがございますので足元には注意してお進みください。<笑><笑>As our time to entry drew closer and closer, we started to make our way to Super Nintendo World. But before that, we had to make a couple of stops along the way. On the way to Super Nintendo World. Honestly, I find it crazy how Universal Studios has brought the game to reality. And as you walk through the green warp pipe, you are transported into a game that many of us grew up playing throughout our childhood. Just finished our Yoshi's Adventure. That was, a, that was a good view of the rest of Super Nintendo World. Now we're waiting in line to eat at Kinopio's Cafe.
Bowser's to do Mario Kart. Go. We just finished with the Mario Kart Cooper's Challenge. Um, and yeah, we're getting ready to go out. We're heading out now. We're finished with Super Nintendo World. Now our plan is to go on the flying dinosaur, right? Yes. Let's see what happens because we don't know how long it's gonna take. Alright, so that was a fail. It takes too long. So we're gonna try we're gonna try a rip ride rocket. Uh, Hollywood dream. Or no? I feel like it'll be the same. The day was ending, but we still had time for a couple more attractions. And there were still some snacks that I wanted to try. Although the day is coming to an end, lines are still as long as ever. So once we finished with the Detective Conan live show, I made my way to the Mario Cafe and store to get these pancake sandwiches that I missed out on last time I was here. The one thing that sets USJ apart from all the other Universal Studios is the customer service. I've never seen the same kind of enthusiasm from any theme park outside of Japan. And the workers just amplify the experience for everyone. The Mario cap was strawberry shortcake and the Luigi cap was grape cheesecake. Honestly, the food at Universal Studios is expensive, but it's not like you get to eat these themed snacks every day. And they taste good too. Once the sun had said goodbye, the streets of Universal Studios Japan were lit up with some dreamy lights. Unfortunately, we didn't get to stay for the rest of the night because we wanted to get some rest back at our hotel. Heading home after a day at USJ always feels like you're being transported back to the real world after living in a fantasy. But I know I'll be back, especially because a new part of Super Nintendo World will be opening up in late 2024. For now, this is the end of the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. God bless you, and peace. Thank you.